हेलो माय डियर फैमिली मेंबर्स आई होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर डूइंग ग्रेट फॉर योर अपकमिंग कैप्जिमिनाइ ड्राइव टू डे आई विल मेक यू सेटिस्फाइड बाय डिस्कसिंग अ रिसेंटली आस्क्ड कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस बाय कैप्जिमिनाइ जस्ट आई वुड लाइक टू हाईलाइट अ क्रूशियल पॉइंट दैट इज हुएवर रिसेंटली गेव द एग्जाम दे आर स्टकिंग इन सिवडो कोड एज वेल एंड कुड नॉट सॉल्व प्रॉपर्ली दैट्स व्हाई प्रिपेयर अकॉर्डिंगली एंड इफ यू थिंक यू नीड टू प्रैक्टिस मोर ऑन दोस सिवडो कोड और रिसेंटली कोडिंग क्वेश्चंस दैट वाज आस्क्ड इन कैप्जिमिनाइ then you can ping me at my insta id i will assist you okay without expanding let's start with the questions so the question was regarding john works as a technical expert for a mobile company where he analyzes if mobiles are uh, infected by viruses or not right so this is not properly visible so i'll just uh, mention you the gist right so a mobile is infected by a virus if str is a special string so according to the question a string is called a special string if all the characters at the alternative position starting uh, index starting from index 0 are same right that means the all uh, starting from zeroth index all each alternative index element should be same in the special string so if this is a special string then print 1 uh, if not then print 0 right so let's see the sample input so at first let's see the input format that is the first uh, line of input contains n and the number of uh, mobiles and the next n lines of input contains n strings right and output format is n lines of output contain either 1 or 0 so here is the sample input that is 3 is the number of mobiles and these are the uh strings that is a d a o a s m a d a m l e l f l r l right so look at here carefully so here the index starting from 0 and containing a as the first character and alternatively a is present right let's see a is present in alternative alternate index right so that's why it should it, it is a perfect i mean uh, what string that is special string right so we should return one here and in this case m is the uh, first element i mean in the present in the first index but it is not present all, uh, in the alternate uh, index right so that's why we are returning zero and in this case l is the first index element and it is present in the alternate index right so that's why we are printing one as the output so i hope you understood what you have to do right so let's see another example uh, so that it will be more clear to you okay so let's say uh, the number of elements are 2 and the elements are let's say a b a b a right so look at here carefully a is the first element in the index uh, first index and it is present in the alternative alternate index right so that means at the sorry a is at the zeroth position 1 2 3 4 right so 0 2 and 4 is the alternate indexes and at each indexes each alternate indexes a is present right so that's why we will return 1 in this case right and the second input let's say uh, sorry second element let's say b uh is uh like this okay so what uh, will it return that is zero why because b is uh, at the zeroth index but b is not present in the alternate index index right so that's why we will print zero in this case right so what is the approach uh, that we should follow to solve the problem so let's uh, let make it more clear so let's uh, look at here zero 2 and 4 is the even index right and each even index the first element should be present right so what we have to do so we have to store all the elements all the strings in a array then we will run a for loop to iterate through all the elements of, of the array and then we will store the first element of uh, we will store the first element of the array and will go through the string all the, all the characters of that string and will store the first character of that string and will check if the first character is present in the all positive index i mean in the even index or not right so if this is present in all the even index then 
we should return 1 right and if this is not present in the event index then print 0 right so i hope i will uh, solve the problem by yourself so if you can't solve then please uh, don't skip or watch till the end right okay so now i will solve the problem in java if you want the solution in python then let me know in the comment section i will try to assist you okay hello my dear family members i am very happy to inform you that the prime materials for capgemini is ready now in which i have included all the previous technical questions from dsa networking security cloud computing pseudocode and computer fundamentals and all the coding questions along with the previous year game based aptitudes so if you want then knock me at my insta id instagram.com slash techno.uf i will provide you so uh, let me write the code here right so at first we have to take the number of mobiles so int n is equal to uh, let's say sc dot next int right so we are now just taking the input so before that we have to initialize the sc as the scanner class object right scanner sc is equal to new scanner system dot in right just uh, if you are uh, from python background then just uh, know that we are now taking the integer input the number of elements right so before that let import java dot util dot star right okay now we'll take the array elements i mean the uh, the strings right so let's uh, initialize that first string error is equal to new uh, new string right and the size is n right okay so how to take the input that is we'll run a for loop int i is equal to 0 i less than how much how, how many times will iterate that is n time right and i plus plus then we'll store each uh it will store each uh, input inside the array element sorry z not zero this should be i right okay so sc dot next line sorry next line and i hope uh, this will create our array right so let's say we took the elements uh, like uh, d a d o t okay and let's say sorry m a d a m and let's say uh, l f l t l okay so these are the elements we have taken let's say okay and here we are taking three as the element i mean three as the number of element okay so now what would be our approach that is we have to at first go through all the elements right so for sorry for int i is equal to 0 i less than um uh, error dot length right so we have to go through all the elements right okay now we are uh, at first at this position right so at first we'll store the first uh, uh, first string inside a string variable right so string let's say uh, words okay words is equal to first element right so array i at first okay so each time it will store a new variable i mean new string inside words string right okay so now what we do will now go through all the characters inside uh, the individual string right so for int j is equal to 0 j less than uh, words sorry words dot length will go through all the elements right and j plus plus so now what we would do that is we'll check if the index is even then we'll check if the if the first element is present inside all the even position or not right so for that we have to store the first character inside a 
character variable so char let's say l is equal to st sorry words words dot char at i sorry zero right so we are now storing the first character inside words inside words string right so we are now storing d at l right so now l is equal to d assume that right 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 okay so now what we do we'll check if d is present in inside all the alternate index i mean inside all the even index or not right so for that we have to run if a uh, block that is if j mod eq mod 2 is equal to is equal to 0 that means it if the index is even then what we would do we would now check if the character in the even index is is equal to l or not so for that if uh words sorry words dot care at j is equal to is equal to l if this sorry if this not then sorry uh, if uh, character at j position is not equal to l then we will break the loop right so there is no point to go through all the elements anymore if this is not equal right so if this is not i mean if this is not equal to l so what we will do will continue to the next iteration okay and for validation purpose for validation purpose we have to take a boolean variable boolean b is equal to let's say true and make it false here so that we can know what uh, are the elements which uh, uh, which uh, which are not a uh, special string right okay now after this for loop after this second uh, second for loop i mean the nested for loop we will say if b if b is true then we will print one sorry one and this should be ln right and if the b is false then we will print zero right so i hope this is fine okay let me run it and see if this is properly working or not okay so run it so the number of elements are let's say three and so the first uh, input was d a d o d right so d a d o d and uh, m a d a m and sorry what is that so the problem is what's the problem that is after this integer input we have to take sc dot next line okay because this next line consumes the uh, new line character from after this next int right so that's why we have to take this next line right okay so now uh, i again run it i hope this will be now fine so three and uh, d a d o d and m a d o d and l f l d l and output should be one zero one right so i hope you understood right so what's the problem here that is we are not checking if this is uppercase or lowercase and we are not checking uh, uh i mean we are not checking the case sensitivity right so please check that and you can check equal ignore case right okay so let's run it for another uh, sample input uh let's say number of elements are three and the elements are let's say d a d o o right so this should not be 
true i mean this should not be a special string so this should return zero and let's say the next element is m a m a m so this should return one and uh, let's say l a l l l okay so this should return one right so zero one one should be the output because l is present at all the alternative index and m is present at the all alternative index right but d which is the first element of this string is not present at the alternate index right so let's see 0 1 1 right and as expected right so i hope you understood what's the syntax i used what whatever i logic uh, logic i used right so if you faced any issue still then please let me know in the comment section right uh, so to get more such content to get more such uh, actual questions please knock me at my instagram on my d i will provide you some valuable content some valuable materials so that you can assay the capgemini exam right so i hope you like this session so if you like this session please subscribe this channel and watch the playlist regarding capgemini and please share this content with your friends so that they can also take help from this right so thank you for today's session